Ocular motor means eye mover, so it controls four of the six extrinsic right. muscles, okay? Which ones does it control? Well, it controls all but the superior oblique and the la lateral it doesn't rectus. Do the, yeah, everything yeah. but the superior oblique, oblique and the lateral, lateral rectus. rectus. So it does the superior the rectus, rectus, the medial rectus, the inferior rectus, and the inferior oblique. Inferior oblique. medial, yeah, and inferior yeah. medial, okay. The, the trochlea controls the yeah. superior oblique. And which one controls Abducing. the lateral? Abducens, like an abduction. It makes your eye abduct. So the lateral is abduction. Okay. Abducing. Okay. So what are the different tunics of the eye? Nobody knew them the other day. Oh, cornea? No. No, sclera? No. No, just um, kidding. Um, there's a neural fibrous, one. Uh, fibrous. Yeah. Fibrous. fibrous that's right. Fibrous is made up uh, of the... Vascular. No, fibrous, first of all, made up of the... Sclera. Sclera. And, and cornea? the cornea. Okay, the cornea's missing here. And then the vascular. The vascular is made up of the iris, ciliary body, and choroid. Okay. And then the inner layer is the neural, which is the retina. retina. Okay. Not all and of the And photoreceptors? Huh? Photoreceptors? Well, that's part of the retina. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay so let's look inside here. I'll see, this was supposed to be in front. So the light coming in is going to be bent first by the lens. Cornea. I'm cornea. Who's cornea. Nobody. So cornea. Her lens. We won't confess to it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> After the cornea, we go through the. What's next? The pupil. The lens. Uh oh. Wait. After what? After the cornea. What do you, what do you hit next? Hmm. Aqueous humor. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh, I see. Okay, yeah. And That's then, the then you go through the pupil, and you're gonna hit the. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Then, then the, the lens, lens, and then, and then the, the vitreous, vitreous humor. humor. This was the vitreous humor. Okay. <laughs> okay. And of those, which ones can change? Change mean the lens. Mm -hmm. get yeah, the lens can yeah. change shape. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you're looking at something up close, the lens gets fatter. Better. If you're looking at something far away, the lens can be flat. Okay. But also the pupil changes. Okay. So when you look at things up close, again, the pupil gets smaller. Under control, what division of the nervous system? Ocular motor. The, don't they? Ocular motor. Constricts, but what and dilates it? The, the dilator muscles. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Okay. So the sphincter muscles make it smaller, mm -hmm. thyroid muscles. So the ocular motor only constricts. Yeah. So that's, an, uh, what, what part of the nervous system is that? Cranial. I mean ocular motor. Mm -hmm. What part of that nervous system is somatic, autonomic? Uh, it's autonomic. 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 Both, right? Parasympathetic? No. Autonomic. autonomic. And is it part of uh, that, that part, okay. And, um, but of the autonomic, oh, is that the parasympathetic? One focus, the focus yeah, part? Yeah. Yeah. Is that parasympathetic? But this part would be, would be somatic. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is it parasympathetic? Parasympathetic, yes. Okay, so that's for uh, looking at things up close. Okay, so the pupil gets smaller to get rid of those diverging light rays. Okay. And it constricts <laughs> when you're trying to see things close up. When you're trying to look at things up close, okay? It gets fat. And the lens gets fatter because the ciliary muscles also constrict. And that loosens the ligaments. And then the lens can get fatter. Okay, so uh, what makes aqueous humor? Um, it's from the blood. It's from the cord. No. It's from the ciliary processes. The humors? No. Aqueous humor. And then it, it helps cleanse the eye, goes through the pupil, you know, from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber, and eventually it's reabsorbed into the little holes there. Come on, somewhere is it? The lacrimal? No, no, that's tears. Scleral venous sinus or canal of Schlem. Oh, that's right. Schlem. 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 Shouldn't have forgotten that one. And if it doesn't get reabsorbed, the interocular pressure builds up, and that causes glaucoma. Okay. Now the the retina. Uh, now the oh, let's see. The, the choroid. Okay. Choroid has um, 
blood vessels in it and help nourish everything. In the sheep, it has a special uh, adaptation called the, for seeing in dim light. No, it's the uh, iridescent. It's an, I was yeah. going to say. Taffetum lucidum. Oh. oh. Makes it mother of pearl looking very pretty. Mm -hmm. For vision in dim light. And kitty cats have that too. Will we have the sheep eye on the test? Mm -hmm. Okay. Expect it. And uh, the retina, though, it has different layers, right? Oh, what's the fluid back here, though? Vitreous. Vitreous humor. Does it turn over, too? No. No, but it's useful forensically. And why it changes forensically, I'm not sure, but it does. Okay. And when we take it, when we cut the eyeball in half, that vitreous humor came out and made a little puddle. And that vitreous humor helps hold the retina against the choroid. So sometimes the retina will detach them. Okay. And so a lot of people had a detached retina. Yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of whitish gray stuff. It looks like a little tissue paper. tissue paper. Okay. Okay, now let's look inside here. This is called what? <laughs> This is the optic nerve. What's this area of the eye called? Mm -hmm. The optic disc. The optic disc, also known as the blind, blind, blind stop, because we don't have any photoreceptors there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this little area here is supposed to be probably the, the yeah the the uh, uh, macula lutea mm -hmm. with in the middle is the fovea centralis or central fovea. Is that the yellow spot? That came yeah, out? the yellow spot. And that's where you had the highest concentration of cones, cones and very few rods. So when we look at things, we tend to make the light fall right on that. And, um, but at nighttime, cones are not active because cones are for color vision and visual acuity. And rods are for dim rods light. Rods are for dim light. So at night, you're not supposed to look directly at something to see it. Which I can't do. Okay. Now, when we're going to the retina, though, okay, so the light comes in, and we already talked about how it got bent. So we focus on the retina. And what layer does it come to first? Of the retina? Ganglia. Ganglia, and then through the bipolar, Basal. then to the photoreceptors. Photoreceptors then carry the information back to the, and what is the optic nerve? Ganglia. Ganglia. Mm -hmm. okay. Axons. Axons. Okay, and that's what we use there. Okay. Now, some people have little problems. If their eyeball is too long, that's likely to give them your sinus or myopia. Yeah. 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 If it's too short, they'll study eyeball. Oh, so far sighted. Far sightedness, okay, or hyperopia. If they have a neural curvature in their lens or Cornea, stigmatism. If it has a abnormal you know, curve, if they have old eyes and have the inability to accommodate, yes. presbyopia. Yeah. <laughs> they use reading glasses. Yeah. <laughs> or they have multifocals or yeah. bifocals or whatever. Okay. These are multifocals for three different. Actually, distances. if I took out my contacts, I could probably see as well as you do up close. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I see really well. I can actually read.